Well, it's another part of American Wasteland. This time, we you might be thinking we're doing the Black Widow stuff, right? Not yet. Because there's something here we need to talk about, and that is those fucking sponsor challenges. You see, we are stuck on about 40, me 41, and a lot of people end up that way, and they can't get any more sponsor challenges from there. So, the remaining, like, fucking 30 or whatever are just gone. They're in the game, though, and to get them, we have to put our stats down to free. However, we haven't been using our stats at all. We haven't been changing them at fucking all. And also, I'm going to show off basically all of the time spots the game basically dictates. Like, 7.35 a.m. You know, always puts you there for that time slot and shit. Basically, it will legitimately just keep, you know, switching to certain times when you do this whole thing. But, um, the main thing is the fucking stat challenges, the sponsor challenges. If you hit 10 and then you do a sponsor challenge for that stat, it locks out all the other stat challenges related to it. That is why you are usually stuck at 40, because you essentially hit that roadblock in which the game locks out every other fucking challenge for that stat. To get around that, we have to lower it every time we do the stat challenge. And because I went and didn't fuck up the stats, I have to do a whole new game all over again just to give you this video. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the unnecessary, really fucking crazy things that I had to deal with of this Let's Play. So, as you will see, I'm going to be noting down not only the stat challenges that exist, but also where they are, essentially. You know, you see where they are, but also their sets. There are 20 sets of stat challenges in the entire game, and I'm going to be trying to complete every single one of them. Also, I'm just showing off that, yeah, Joe Skater here and such. You can just not do anything until, like, the last few seconds and the scores don't matter. So, yeah, this is easy as shit. Also, the stat sets are random on what you get. They don't go by order. They just go wherever fucking order they want. So, for me, it was from 1, which it always is 1 usually for me when it comes to the beginning with the whole goal there for the stats. But then it's, like, 3 or 4 or 2. Every level has four sets, and basically you have to do all the sets. Now here's the thing, all of these stats, all of these sets stay in their level except for Hollywood with Beverly Hills. You can do Hollywood stat challenges in Beverly Hills. You can't do the same for any other level anywhere else. So, you'll see, you'll see that, you'll see that whole thing, because one of these stat challenges are going to be really fucking hard, and see, stat, st uh, stats 1 was done here in Beverly Hills, so yeah. These are stats 5 to 8, however, so 1 is not here. And yeah, these are all of the sick versions of these, in case you're wondering, these do lower down and get easier on the medium and easy difficulties. I'm not showing differences for that one because unlike in Fug 2, for instance, they don't uniquely change this shit. It is literally just the same stuff, it's just the number of it is different. How many times you do the same thing is different. Otherwise, you are getting pretty much the exact same stat challenges and I'm basically giving you my, you know, solutions to them in a way. So, yeah, this is about the gist of the, st of the sponsor challenges. And honestly, this is the worst stat challenge shit of all of these games to me. And the reason for that is just the fact that, sure, you have the option of choosing whatever one you want to do, and, you know, you don't have to do all of them. There is nothing you gain from doing every sponsor challenge. But, when it came, when it came to how Fug 1 and 2 handled it, it was based on not only your skill, 
but everything was locked down to just the, the amount needed to even, you know, get the max stats. They didn't overdo it. They didn't go right over it. You didn't have to lower your fucking stat points in order to then do more challenges. You got the necessary amount needed in order for you to actually get the stat points you need. You didn't have to fucking fuck up your stat points in order to actually do these. American Wasteland, unless you know to do this, is going to limit you to about 40 out of 70, and the rest of the stat challenges just stay locked forever. And that is shit. That is legitimately just shit. Especially when you see that some of these stat challenges are just repeated. Some of these stat challenges are the exact same in sets. And I... That's just fucking lazy. That's just fucking stupid. It only gets worse, however, when it comes right down to just... Just the very fact that you have to go through and lower your stat points. And know to lower your stat points if you want to go and experience all of the challenges here. Because this is the most challenging the game even gets, by the way. A lot of these fucking, you know, story missions and such in this game are really fucking easy even on sick. And so the stat challenges, much like in Fug 2, act as pretty much the hardest of the game. And you're not even going to get that challenge unless you fucking get out of your way to do it yourself. And look at that, I already have like max stats going on. If you want to do more missions and, you know, you have to, you know, get free to get to the next area, do more stat challenges and shit, I would recommend just putting them to about 8, maybe 9 if you want to, but never put them to 10. Never let the stat points get anywhere near 10. Because if you fucking do, there is a chance that it will end up locking those stat challenges on you again. So yeah, you gotta keep your fucking eye on this shit. Every fucking time you do this shit, you gotta keep your eye on it. And it gets really annoying. And you will know, like, just how far you're going. Because if you have it at about 7 when you're doing this, if you really want to have those high stats about going right to 10, like, put the 7. Because the stat points you gain will pretty much always be fucking 2. So you will always gain two points every time. Anyway, downtown is 9 to 12. Uh, Santa Cruz is, or Santa Monica, is 13 to 16. And the final level we haven't even gone to yet are the last four sets, which is 17 to 20. So, also the Wack Pedestrians one here is really weird as you can see. That's just fan-fucking-tastic. And, yeah, it's just really easy, and some of these require you to have the fucking skill needed in order to do these. But considering we're now in downtown, you already have almost all the skills you need. The only ones you're missing at this point is basically Flatland and fucking, you know, Stalling, which you're gonna get those. You are 100% going to get those fucking tricks. And yeah, just look at this. It's just... A lot of these are going to be easy. And in fact, in this level, they for some reason make one of the Ollie ones easier than the fucking first level stat points. Like, it was um, ollie up like 35 feet or whatever, Ollie down 35 feet. This one has Ollie down and Ollie up 25. Also, I accidentally got these two gaps, I believe. So that was Pillar... And I believe I accidentally got this one as well. I'm not too sure if I shot it in a previous video or not. That's loading edge for you. Okay. Now it's time for me to go ahead and take care of the BS rolls. It has to be BS rolls, by the way. It cannot be FS rolls. And then, the longest fucking challenge name. Half cap impossible six times in one combo. Which is just do a manual, then keep spamming the square square button. You know, the square square to do on a 360 finger flip or the half cap impossible from a normal manual. It's just switching to either a nose manual or a manual every fucking time. So, yeah, it's really easy for you to manage. 
And yeah, in sick, you start getting some pretty, you know, difficult ones, like 25 trick combo. You already know about how the combo thing works. If you start doing the same trick over and over again too much, it then halves it to like 0.5 and shit, or just gives you nothing for it. We already know that fucking crap. We're used to it. Doesn't matter to us, however. And also, I had to eventually pretty much note down like what my special is what my grind special is for the point stuff and all because you're gonna need it it will make life really easy when you know that shit but you don't need it like require it you just need it if you want it to be easier you can do all the point ones without using specials at all it's really easy to pull off and also, Litricking on this spot here is really glitchy. You can easily just bail immediately from being on these spots for Litricking, so be cautious. There are better spots for Litricking. I'm just using this spot anyway. But yeah, this level, Santa Monica, has one of the worst stat challenges of the fucking game. There are two stat challenges that I consider to be the hardest, and honestly, the most bullshit. But here's the thing, the second one, that one isn't going to require me to use a cheat code. I can handle that one, because it's one that we've already done before. This one, however, air 100 feet high, we will come back to this one. We're not doing it now. I'm going to show this one off for cheat code first and then normally. But we're not doing it right now. Taking care of all the other ones beforehand. And by the way, if you try to leave, there's the camera thing for it, still on the level. If you try to leave into, say, downtown or whatever, out of this area, try to go to San Francisco or whatever, you know, or Beverly Hills, I mean. Yeah, you can't. You can't do the 100 air one from there. You have to in Santa Monica, which there is, as far as I can fucking find, only one spot where you can really make it work out for yourself. Otherwise, the 100 feet challenge is a fucking nightmare. And even with cheats on, it's a fucking nightmare. And the cheat I'm using is the fucking low gravity one. Because no matter what Tony Hawk game it is, Moon gravity is a staple. It will always be there. There will always be moon gravity in a Tony Hawk game. But the biggest fuck off is going to be the fact that even with moon gravity, I just barely make a hundred feet in the air. So here is the cheat code I'm putting down for low gravity. I'll let you know what it looks like. I would recommend you use this if you're going for this because unless you're going to go through the hassle that I went through to get it legitimately, it ain't worth it. It ain't fucking worth it. So here is me using moon gravity. And as you can see, I'm not quite getting it until I use the spine trance down below with a lot of speed and shit. And then I just barely make it right there. That was just enough height to get a hundred feet high. Here is me doing it legitimately. And if it's red, by the way, that signifies this is the hard shit. You need to really utilize going back and forth on these ramps here on the roof and making sure that you use it quickly every fucking time on each jump to get the maximum speed necessary and the maximum height necessary to get this shit. Get out of your fucking board once you reach it, because otherwise, if you try to spawn her in, you're fucked. Here's the mission shit now. Let's move on, shall we? Let's do the Black Widow stuff already. Hey, uh, are you Hector? I'm Hector, homie. Why are you asking? I need to get into the Belmont Tunnel. The Black Widow's down there told me to talk to you about it. You may have the spider mark, homie, but only real Black Widows are allowed in the tunnel. How do you become a real Black Widow? Black Widows do it all, man. Bomb, graffiti, skate, ride bikes. You know what? You show me you can rock all three, homie. Then we'll talk. Bring it. I'm ready. All right. First, let's see how well you manual. Manual through all the cones. 
Yeah, sure thing, man. I fucked this one up the first time. I am sorry. I shouldn't have. But I did get it done, like, on my third attempt because I fucked up the jump on the start on the second attempt. By the way, at this point, we have more than the stat challenge I've done the beginning of this part. We have gone beyond 41. So, yeah, we missed a lot. Hey, nice one. You skate like a black widow. Let's see what else you got. Meet me over by the skate shop. Right now, the gangs in LA are in a turf battle. Black widows want to squash it before more people get hurt. Design a tag using styles from Hollywood, downtown, Beverly Hills, and Santa Monica. Find the local graph writer Muton. He's got all the styles down. He will teach them to you. Come back and see me when you get your tag ready. Then you'll be bombing all CD. And now it's time for the reason why we did all of those tag spots. Because those hey, styles bro. we got beforehand, all four of them essentially, we can now go into Creative Graphic, or Creative Graffiti, I mean. Well, it's Creative Graphic, but it is Graffiti. Um, and now, we can choose those. And it even you know, puts in the brackets where you got them in. And now, you need to make a fucking Graffiti Graphic that uses all four styles. The problem is that even though some of these look pretty neat, they don't quite mesh together well in the game and the game wants to use all four of these but they don't quite look that good all together and ultimately you're going to be making just a complete fucking pile of shit mess because of it so yeah even though the styles you're seeing right now are pretty neat and it would have led to some pretty neat graffiti styles and such Ultimately, this stuff is just really crap. It doesn't look very good. And sure, you've added more graffiti styles since Fug 2, I guess. How many people actually gave a shit about creating your own graphic like that? More people gave a shit about modifying the files and putting their own sticker slap and shit and their own graffiti into the fucking game from the files instead of actually using the presets you put into the game. Because sure, the presets are neat, but when you actually try to make the fucking thing and you can tell that, um, you know, you only have 10 to work with and there's the fact that it looks kind of shit, yeah, I mean, this last one tags is just, you know, crappy little spots and names and such. It's the worst style one, and it just looks lame, honestly. I could not really work with this that well on what I wanted with this. Even if I wanted something good, quite honestly, this looks like complete shit that's not even worth it, you know? So... Yeah, I I tried my best of this. I tried to style it up a little bit. I looked for the rest of these and thought maybe I can put a little bit of extra on there. Maybe put my fucking X on that shit. Because, you know, it's my channel. So I might as well put my fucking logo namesake on there. You can literally put sponsor logos on this shit. Yeah, that's really going to showcase myself to a fucking gang. Putting sponsors on my graffiti. What the actual fuck? So let's go ahead and put the X on there. I mean, there is some neat little, you know, font styles and shit on there. Ultimately, though, I went ahead and used one that really did fit with my style, which was going to be Frashed. Because that's a pretty cool looking X, and that's what I'm using. And also... I took the piss typing in KKK then. I did not put that there for any reason. I'm taking the piss and making you react to that. You probably did. <laughs> you're probably thinking some shit right now because you're that fucking sensitive to just some random moment. Anyway. Now we can save it. 
I'm not naming it. There's no point. There's no point naming this shit. It's just a random graphic I don't give a shit about. And the thing is, on any playthrough, you can just load this graphic up, even if the fucking tag spots for it. And you can use it the entire time. So, uh... Yeah, this is your way of trying to make all your other playthroughs much easier and faster for yourself, I guess. This full spat, he's tagging over Widow's Burners in downtown. Use that all city tag you made and own the four spots at one time. Don't let Spat steal our turf, homie. Get up four all city tags and put this turf war to rest, Cholo style. That's right, folks. Spat's here. Yeah. This is probably the last time we're ever even going to see Spat, in fact. And believe it or not, we are going to see Spat. However, we're not seeing Spat in my run through here. We're not seeing this guy from me just going forward and, you know, running out of time during this to make him appear. Most people end up doing that. I actually ended up making through this fast enough to actually get all four spots before Spat even had his chance to appear. And this was my first go-ahead. So, yeah. Orderly, nice bombing skills, homie. Way to throw it down, Trollo style. You can skate a bomb, but can you kick your BMX style? No worries. I can do it all. Find my Trollo brother near the fountain by the tunnel. He'll give you your last challenge. Pass that, and you're a Black Widow for life. Don't worry, we'll see Spat later on. His model is around the game right now. But, now we have to use the bike, and this is where the bike to toss with Rick Thorne come in. So, yeah, you ready to see all the fruits of our labor of that bullshit? Hey homie, you wanna get to East LA? You gotta prove your bike skills. I'm gonna give you a few challenges to prove your worth. First challenge, do a tabletop off this kicker. Finish this, and we move on to the next one. Yes, this is all you do. You just do basic tricks off a kicker. What the actual fuck? That was too easy. It's gonna start getting a little harder. For your next challenge, do a crank flip. Big air, homie! That is the most enthusiasm this guy is going to ever give for this bullshit right now. Okay, last challenge. This one should really impress the widows. Do a tail whip and try not to break your neck, homie. This shit is so fucking easy, you can do all this shit without ever jumping at all. Okay, for your last challenge, manual down the Belmont Tunnel while busting mad tricks, I say. Manual through these cones. Then a wall plant off this concrete wall in that order. Go for it. Okay, now this bit is actually going to open our way into the area, which is East LA. Because by doing this, we somehow broke a giant hole into the tunnel. I don't know why it was cemented. I don't know how that worked. But it did. And also, that graffiti artist there, that is Spat. That is his model. You have now seen Spat. Now you know who the guy behind the old times we have to tag his spot in the fucking games has been. And now it's time for some gaps. Grind these spots here below to medium. Don't worry, I will show the gap checklist soon. I forgot to fucking do that while doing a few of these. That will be fixed soon. Next up, grind up this spot now from there for low to high and medium to high. It's... It's that easy. Just do it all in one combo, essentially. Next up, go ahead and bank drop down and then gap over the bridge like so for overpass air. And after that one, you want to go ahead and transfer over this gap here for freeway flyer. And then, after taking care of a bunch of trash, manual across this entire dumpster area in order to get manual the dumpster. Once you got that bullshit out of the way, go ahead and grind the dumpster and then grind the rail afterwards for dumpster defense. Take care of that bullshit, run that fence, and then run back on the dumpster for fence dumpster. There's be a few things that are like this. 
Next up, Grinus and Tyrell all the way down for Angel going down. And then, go and do that the reverse way for Angel going up. Usually it will speed you up as you do that grind. Afterwards, Marilus and Tyrell found here for Fountain Manual. And once we got that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and then grind this pipe here. And then jump across the road to grind down the ledge there for Pipe a Chewy. Or Choy or whatever. And then transfer this spot here in order to take care of Big Blow Transfer. And now, here is the checklist. Okay, let's take care of this, shall we? Next up, we want to go ahead and use this quarter pipe to then grab up to the edge there for quarter pipe to edge. Pretty simple shit right there. Afterwards, you want to go ahead and notice that you can actually take a load off on this bench here. Even though there's no time thing there at all, and you will naturally know you can take a load off there unless you fucking went near it and noticed the prompts there. There you go. Okay, now I'd have gone to use that kicker there and go over the rooftop here for over the hut. Then do a transfer over that tunnel you just made for tunnel transfer. Afterwards, want to go ahead and go up this spot here and grind for these signs for Chinatown sign. Once we got that out of the way, do a big ass transfer over this spot here for Chinese air transfer. Then find that you can actually go inside this building because the collision here is really fucked up and glitchy. So you can easily just phase through this building here. I don't know how this is possible. I don't know why this is a thing. But it is. Anyway, grind this spot here and then grab top there for the China awning. If you can grind all the awnings, just the first one. Then you want to go ahead and grind that ramp there and then, well, grind the loading there. And then grind the dumpster for loading the dumpster. Do the reverse ray for dumpster loading. Pretty easy shit, huh? Next up, you want to go ahead and grind the fountain, then grind that fucking, um, I guess, marker for pull to marker, then backwards and marker to pull. I'm calling it a ramp to pull. Ramp to fountain. Then, grind that rail there and grind the fence over there for fence to fence, and then grind the loading from afterwards for fence to loading, then go ahead and grind the loading for fence for loading the fence. Jesus fucking Christ! A lot of it's the same shit. And use this ramp here to grind up the ledge there for bowl to edge. And then go ahead and grind around this entire rail there from the very entrance to Hollywood for around the metro. And then afterwards you want to go ahead and just do a big fucking bank drop jump there for freeway bank. Use that same one on the other side there with a lot of speed and do a big old jump across from this one to a bank drop for underground bank transfer. Afterwards, you want to go ahead and use this entire China awning to then jump over to the wire there for awning to wire. Then, you want to go ahead and do it backwards, but not in story mode because in story mode it's broken. Again, you have to go to free play mode and then do it that way. I don't know why it's like that. I don't know why it's another fucking gap. We have to go into free skate and then be able to do that fucking gap. Instead of just in story mode, well, there you go, wider awning. Anyway, use this pyramid here, ass drop down below to get the pyramid drop, then lip trick up this spot here for big lip, and that's it. That is all the gas downtown. That is downtown. Now we can move on, because we only have about two more levels up in story mode that have gap checklists. And one of them is East LA, and we'll be dealing with East LA later on when it comes to that. However, we are going to East LA, and we are going to finish the stat challenges. Because I timed it at this point, because East LA is the last of the sponsor challenges. And the thing is, at this point, you would never even do sponsor challenges in East LA. All four of these sets would be entirely missed by you, because at this point you already have the max stats. There would be no reason for you to go and do the sponsor challenges in this level because you can't do them unless you went ahead and you did this shit like I did. So now I'm in East LA and I'm going to do the remaining fucking sets of stat challenges. And then we're going to find out a bug this game has that makes all my efforts here worthless because getting all 70 is impossible. It might be possible in a different port where it works, but in the special edition, the special edition 
of 4 on PS2, no, no matter what, even on easy and medium, there is always one stat challenge that just remains locked for fucking ever, despite all your efforts to make sure no stat challenge is locked. The game just bugs out on that shit for no good fucking reason. Also, train car spine and river spine we've taken care of. There you go, 20,000 points. Again, again, the repeat shit's happening. This is the last of the repeats also. I think river spine collected now. And also, holler back. Holler back for your homies. Now, grind for 20 seconds. This spot here is the best. Because that times around thing that there are a lot of those of in this one is going to help you time just how long you're going to be going for. You want to, you know, go around the fucking spot about 20 to 23 times. And that many times, about 22 to 23 is 20 seconds total. So, yeah. See? 20 seconds at 23. That's how you know it's 20 seconds. Hot coffee grind and PG right there. And now, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this gap here, which is the spine transfer gap down below, in order for us to get the order roof spine. And I'm going to use these three spines in order to get the fucking six in the combo one. Because it's the only spot we can get this one. And again, you can only do the fucking stat challenges in East LA here with these ones. You can't do it anywhere else. So, get used to it. East LA also has the second hardest, and unlike the 100 feet one, I can do this one about a cheat one, because, oh by the way, notice there were only two here in stats number 19. There's actually supposed to be three challenges here, and also the same one but it's named different. There's supposed to be three here, because the third one is bugged for me. It stays locked no matter what. Land a 40 trick combo is fucking broken. I'm going to end up being this anyway with a different set. But yeah. That is the biggest issue. That no matter what, one of these is going to be broken. And it's not always going to be the same stat challenge that breaks. For me, it's that one. For you, it could be one of the ones in downtown. Which, for medium and easy, it was. Anyway, if you want to head to a dark slide, it's hold right down diagonal, and then double tap triangle, like I showed right there. You need to do that for this stat challenge. Which, by the way, the game, it has a trick list. It never tells you what the grind tricks are. So, yeah. I had to tell you that, because the game is never going to tell you itself. And yeah, taken from fuck fucking 2, it's 50 flip tricks in one combo all over again. It was hard in fucking fuck 2, it's fucking hard in 4. Luckily, I got it here, after quite honestly about 20 minutes of attempts be about 30 attempts, like 30 minutes of attempts actually, or 40 minutes, I've lost count, all I know is there are a lot of fucking attempts, much like in Fug 2, and it was really fucking hard to deal with. And that is our last stat challenge. I did not have to do this. I did not have to get stuck with 69 out of 70 fucking stat challenges. But I did. And now, I can finally put my stats back to 10 out of 10. So, we're now in the Black Widows, and we have now explored the stat challenges, and everything shitty and wrong with it. Next time, we're gonna save Boone from East LA. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.